ready to paint. And when I got that, when I got that Kills too, I just got it right off the shelf and I had them mix it with their paint mixer, their shaker, before I left the uh, store. And they'll do that for you for free. All you have to do is ask them. I wanted to do that, that way I didn't have to mix it by hand, you know, with the paint stick and stuff, especially if it's been sitting on the, uh, the shelf for a f who knows how long, you know? And even when I, when I picked it up, or when I opened the paint can, now, now you have paint right on the, the lid. So I scraped that off. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not liking this, uh, this paint roller cover now. It's not wanting to spin very well. Still putting it on. I'll try it for a while and see what happens. I could have sprayed some some WD-40 on it on the inside of the of the roller because it doesn't want it. It wants to slide a little bit. I'm wondering if I should take that off. And try that. This isn't this isn't working too well. It's, it's sliding it on, kind of like kind of like putting it on with the paintbrush. But it should go on a little bit easier. Okay, let's see what to do with that. You want you want your uh, your paint roller cover to be rolling smoothly. Okay, I sprayed. I pulled that cover off. Sprayed some WD-40 in there, and I'm going to try that. I'm not sure. roller cover for a little bit longer. It gives it a little texture to you. Somewhat. Which is fine. I know you can do this, it's not very hard. That's why I like to use a mini roller. I can get up next to the walls a little bit easier than like a nine inch roller cover. Now, I can paint 
keep the edge edge here before I go back and, and cut everything in with the paintbrush. Get you a little outside corner there. I like to use my paint extension, a broom handle, anything like that when I can, but you know, for this, it's too much of a hassle. I'm trying to trying to get it. So I'm just gonna do it without it. I don't need it. Not for this. matching paint for the stucco though and I will be I will be hitting that incidentally all along the edge of the stucco before I sprayed uh, simple green and took a uh, just a bristle brush and cleaned that off all the way it was all discolored cleaned it off the best I could so that it was clean before I before I cut that in with the paintbrush, before I put the caulking on there, all that kind of stuff. I want it all to stick nice, you know. And so I think I can do one more. I'll do one more step. I'll do that step before I reach over that to cut it in with my paintbrush. This is just going over that, that fix it all. That stuff worked really good. I was very pleased with that. It took some getting used to. Haven't used it in a while. Because it dries really quick. But there's a happy medium on on how thin you can mix it up because then it want, it doesn't want to stick very there. It's hard to get it to stay in one spot. But I got it I got it worked out pretty good. Yeah this this roller's working a lot better now. I'm glad I I tried that WD-40 or else I was going to throw this, this paint roller away. I've only used it a few times. get in there any other way except this sideways like this. Little by little. The key is not to be in a big huge rush. Think, you know, I gotta get this all done in an hour because I have to do this, that, or the other thing, or running out of daylight, it's gonna be too cold. to go to dinner in an hour, how am I going to get this done, you know, hey, you get it done when you get it done, right, that's what I say, get it done when you get it done, pretty good with one coat, but adding a second coat is just going to make it be that much better, I think. And besides, it, the second coat doesn't take as much paint either. It goes on a lot quicker. 
than the first coat. One coat, yeah, probably. But you know me. I'm just gonna put the second coat on because I can. It's not gonna take me that much longer. And like I said, it's not gonna take much more paint. I just want this to be really super good. And I'm not a professional painter. Never will I ever claim to be. <laughs> I do just enough to think, oh, God, that's over with. Really I do all the steps just like this and then come back and do the touch up or the cut in after that yeah good if I think this if I think this is dragging or gonna take off some of my other it's let's see I'm looking I'm looking up here on the top step and the top step is pretty much looking like it's already almost dry. I think I'll leave that alone. Okay. Now I can now I can cut that in. I'm just gonna take my my two inch throwaway paintbrush. That's all. That's all I'm gonna do.